and welcome to another episode of Mad as a Goat. Now, I have stated and I have proven in past episodes that I'm one of the biggest wiggers of all time. I love my hip-hop. I love it, man. It's great. There's many great artists and there are still a few out there who are doing some great shit and thank you for it. But then there's those overrated rappers like Jay-Z. Forever I've been hearing people tell me when I bring up that I like hip-hop, oh, you gotta listen to Jay-Z. Jay-Z is the shit. He sold millions of records and he's, you know, very famous and very successful, which is all true. But I've listened to it and it's all crap. It's shit. Like he, you know, in earlier albums says some stuff that's kind of interesting, but it's just, it doesn't hook you in. I'm not fully in depth with the story. I just don't give a shit. He always delivers it in such a way where it's like, huh, huh. That's the only attitude kind of description I could put behind it. It's just a guy going, huh, look at me, huh. Got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one, huh. You know, it's just cock rock rap. It's like if they got all the worst aspects of cock rock and all the worst cheesy aspects of rap and blended them together, you'd have Jay-Z. And you can't argue that he's one of the best out there with songs with lyrics that go something along the lines of cake, 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 cake. I got a million, that's a pound cake and just bad rhymes that just say cake and then again going back into cake, 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 cake. What the fuck is that? I mean, even those guys who did that song, Versace, did a better job than he did in that goddamn song. And that one with him and Justin Timberlake, firstly, the verses were boring and bland. They just didn't hit your ear. They didn't go, oh, look at this. There's a guy rapping. It just made you go, ah. Oh. And on top of that, he's whinging about being famous. Yeah, the thing that you've been striving for your whole career is the thing that annoys the fucking living shit out of you. Firstly, Concept that's been done to fucking death. Secondly, no one ever buys it. Thirdly, we wouldn't give a shit even if we were buying buying it. It's fucking terrible. I mean, he's so overrated and so goddamn boring. Unbelievably boring. Another overrated rapper would have to be Buster Rhymes. I don't mind a few of Buster Rhymes' bits, but it's not because he's such a good rapper. He just has so much energy. He's kind of the opposite of Jay-Z. He can't do stuff as linguistically as Jay-Z can, but he does have all the energy. If you put them together, you'd have a good rapper. But anyway, yeah, he has all the energy and he, he sort of raps fast, but most of the time when he raps fast, he's n either not rhyming, either not making sense, or just saying random gibberish that you didn't give a shit about. On the occasions where he does say something, it's usually during very vapid rap songs, like Break Your Neck or something like that, where you can actually understand what his speed rapping is. I will give Tech 9 a lot more credit than fucking Buster Rhymes. Tech 9, yes, his rhymes are boring and they're very cliched and it's very cheesy rap. But at least when he does the fast rapping thing, you can actually hear it. It comes across and there's words there. And it actually has some sort of meaning that ties in with the rest of the song, not just random shit. And on top of that, what's wrong with Buster Rhymes, man, okay? When you were just doing your woo-ha shit back in those days, and even the Anarchy album, I had the energy, it was entertaining. And then you start doing all these gay songs with all these crappy pop stars. What the fuck are you doing? Every time you hear a really shitty, cheesy pop song and you're wondering how it got on the charts, next thing you know, Buster Rhymes is jumping up in the clip and you're like, what the fuck is he doing there? Having a similar reaction to the one I had when I first saw Snoop Dogg in that California girls video I was like why is Snoop Dogg there I, I, I honestly cannot comprehend who would have thought even on paper that that is a good idea let's just talk about that for a second what the fuck were they thinking I mean the Snoop Lion thing is goddamn ridiculous but it ties in with his years of being known for being a very very passionate pot smoker it ties in but when you first hear Snoop Dogg, you know that song, Snoop Doggy Dogg, and all that, you would never think, not in a million years, that later on down the track he'd be in a clip with a pop star with nice tits in a land of candy. What the hell in that suit he was wearing in the ver Let's move on because it gets me angry. Another really overrated rapper is Dr. Dre. 
A lot of people say he's an excellent producer. Correct, sir. He can make a beat like you wouldn't believe. No one can deny that bass line at the start of 187. It fits goddamn perfectly, but Big Pun did better shit with that instrumental. The guy can make really, really good instrumentals, but even in the NWA days, he wasn't the shining member in NWA. Hell motherfucking no. And I'm sorry, Eazy-E wasn't either. Another overrated rapper. The guy who was shining there was MC Ren. He was doing the best shit as far as linguistically was concerned but Dr. Dre he's so bland and he's crap and you know let's not even talk about I Need a Doctor I mean that was just a shit puddle of a song it was abysmal he's so overrated as far as rapping is concerned same as Exhibit What's the big deal about Exhibit? He was never really that good of a rapper. Let's be honest, he's mostly famous for Pimp My Ride. Not many people can actually listen to X Gonna Give It To You. Oh wait, that's DMX. He's actually not bad. He's got the energy and he's got shit to say and he scares the fuck out of you. And that's how it's done properly. But Exhibit, he doesn't scare you. He's, he doesn't come across as thuggy. He seems more like a college student that eventually will have a show on MTV customising people's cars. I saw it from the goddamn beginning. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's so overrated. Another overrated rapper, another one, they just keep going on and on and on. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Oh, Macklemore, he's so great. Oh, he's going to be competing with Eminem. No, he won't. He's, he should have done folk. Macklemore is a folk writer. If he did folk songs, they would absolutely and just unequivocally just destroy his rap career because it would just become irrelevant. If I heard a folk-styled version of Thrift Shop, I'm pretty sure it would be one of my favourite songs. But no, he chose the rapping and the stupid hair and the irony of him walking through a video clip saying that we should go away from the corporate machine while having a probably $5,000 worth fucking hairdo going on. I mean, Jesus Christ. I know people pay like 50 bucks for that hairdo, the irony there, and the irony that you're probably using a camera that's worth more than my house to film your video clip. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm, I'm just mainstream and I don't like money. Well then, what? That just doesn't work, okay? I'm not buying it. Another rapper who's really, really overrated, of course, I've said this a trillion times, Lil Wayne, but I heard his song with Paris Hilton and one line, that's all I heard. It's just, he's talking about her voluptuous ass, and then ends this thing where he's talking about it with, oh, but, what? As if to say he looked at the ass and went, hey, but, what? What? I'm lost. I, I always have this with Lil Wayne. Everyone says, oh, but he has things to say, he has things to say, but I get lost in whatever it is he's trying to communicate. A good thing, you know, you know you're a good rapper or a good public speaker when you can communicate your ideas clearly, and you don't have to have an underground following of a bunch of people who have got like an encyclopedia on decoding your fucking raps. Another thing I hate in rap at this present time is all this shit of just hiding stuff and making it kind of ambiguous and whatnot. Like leaving out parts of a rhyme and then just pause and then here it is. You know what I mean? Like that very, very, very famous one from Bedrock. I got her like a grocery bag. What? It's terrible. Please don't do this. And another one is also the overly repetitive choruses. Of course, Versace. I mean, Versace, 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 Versace. And this thing they do where they take the theme of the song and they put it at the end of every line, every, you know, first couple of lines for the verses. You know, they keep doing that, Where especially with Versace. The first, like half of the first verse is him just rhyming Versace with Versace and people go, oh, that's awesome. Download the goddamn instrumental. Don't give that guy any money with his crappy fucking lyrics and his voice sucks and no energy. You can't, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? I'm not even going to talk about the Hannah Montana one they did. I'll give you a clue how the chorus went. Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana, over and over. Shit. And people look at me, oh, you're, you're critiquing people. You know nothing about rap. Go and listen to some fucking Nas or Nas or whatever they call him, Nas. He's, he's all right, okay? Everyone keeps pointing me over there. Go listen to Nas and Rakim. They're all right. They're all right. A lot of stuff in the underground is doing better shit than they ever did, and I'll say that fucking right out there. You know, 
sometimes you can do their style of rapping storytelling with a you know laid back style, but you have to be a tribe called Quest to make it work. It just doesn't work when you guys do it. It just comes. Kind of, eh. It's just been done. Do some new shit. Say some stuff that's just completely weird. That's why I like Jack Regresso. I had never heard no one on an album just say really perverted, fucked shit. But not, like, over the top. Like, believable. Like, he says it and you go, someone would actually do that. It, you know, that's different. Or even something like MC Bushpig. I mean, I'd never heard someone doing, like, death metal style rapping and talking about, like, hunting people open and eating their shit and all this stuff. That's fucking entertainment. But what's this other shit you got over here? Fucking little Wayne going, oh, as long as, as my bitches love me. As long as my bitches love me. They don't love you. They love your wallet, you fucking retard. Don't think we're going to buy that shit. I'm so cool. All the ladies like me. If that guy... I had no money, he would have his hand every night. That's the honest to God truth. He looks like a fucking fried out crackhead. Honestly, without the gold teeth, you'd think he was homeless. Jesus Christ. Terrible. Absolutely terrible overrated top 10 billboard charts for the fucking masses to eat up. Shit. It's not fucking rap. Don't call it rap. Don't call it hip hop. Don't call yourself a hip hop aficionado because you know who Rakim is. I mean, shit. Everyone knows who that guy is. Fucking hell, these guys. They go, oh, I'm so pretentious, man. I listen to Nats, man. And I listen to Rakim. And it's like the illest shit ever. You know, to be honest, none of y'all can be even t saying even one thing. You got nothing to say. Stop. All right. Chuck D was the first one to put the fucking thug into goddamn rap. He did that shit. Before that, other guys were rapping and being thug, but he did it, and he, he was like a militant fucking Black Panther guy, jumping through your speaker and punching you in the face and slapping you and teaching you about why everyone's equal. We are all equal. That message first came to me, not from my society, but through Public Enemy. That's a fucking thug rapper who says what he wants to say, spreads his message, you understand it clearly, perfectly, with no bullshit, with no trying hard, no fucking EDM beat shit, just here it is. Alright, he shouts it at you and he lets you know, fight the power that be, and you fucking believe it, and you fucking nod your head, and you don't nod your head because the beat slam, and you nod your head because the MC had something to say, and he said it with the perfect amount of energy and the perfect alliteration. That's why a lot of people like Asa Brock, he's very hard to understand, but he delivers it in such a way that you believe that he believes what he's saying. You listen to that and you're like, yes, I fucking, I understand where you're coming from. You're talking about so Suicide. You're talking about religion, you're talking about life, you're talking about real shit. Real shit. He, he, Chuck D's talking about racism, Ace of Rock's talking about the world and how it's getting sillier and stupider and people are not understanding the things that go on underground and all sorts of topics. And another thing these types of rappers, good rappers do, is have more than one thing to say. Little Wayne... Fucking all these, you know, Crayshawns, all this shit. By the way, Crayshaw made one cent off her last album. Found that out yesterday. Pretty interesting. Moving on. But all these top ten guys say, one thing and one thing. I got swag and I'm rich. I got swag and I'm rich. Listen to a whole album. The underlining tone throughout the whole fucking discography is I'm rich and I have swag. I don't give a fuck that you're rich and you have swag. I don't give a fuck about your song. Get the fuck off my goddamn computer and off my radio. I want some fucking real shit. I want, I want someone up there saying something that they believe in and full wholeheartedly believe in. When Chuck D said, fight the power that be, you didn't have to question it. You didn't have to go, hmm, I wonder if he means that. You fucking knew it. And not just because he was black, but because he delivered it perfectly. Something that you Gen Y dickheads don't understand. It's all about the beast and saying, and ill shit. Everyone can say ill shit. Everyone can learn to rap. Not everyone has the charisma or the natural talent that is required to become what is a good rapper. Eminem, not everyone is going to be as good as him. Full stop. Not everyone's going to be able to do his storytelling with his gory stuff and all this and mix it together the same way he did. There's a little bit of natural talent. There's a little bit of charisma, but most importantly, intelligence. I can tell you, without even meeting people, that I know that they just don't understand and they took the easy way because that's the only way they know how to do it. Drake, 
He didn't know what the fuck he was doing in the rap game, so he took the easy way. And he just talked about bitches, and uh, all the haters, and my swag, uh, YOLO, fuck off with your monotone curly head, fucking bullshit, your middle, upper middle class loving motherfucker. Shit. If he, if he loses his rap career and goes bankrupt, he can move back into his mum's palace. Shit. I oh, started from the bottom. Started from the bottom of my dick, now you're licking the tip, you shithead. Anyway, that was mad as a goat, no freeze frame. We're back in to the way it should be, and it's awesome, and I'm loving it. Thanks for watching.